Salutations fellow hobbyists and welcome to the Toyama 23 Hobby Channel. Hope you guys are doing good. Good? Awesome. This here is a hobby head episode where I think hard and loud about the hobby. And in this episode I am doing a what if Bandai release a new Master Grade Zeta. First off, I want to say there is nothing bad about the Zeta 2.0 Gundam. It is one of my favorite. I enjoy building every second of it and even made a review video. More reviews coming out, I promise. Because you guys want it, I know. Zeta 2.0 is hands down the best version of the Zeta in model kit form. In my opinion, of course. It's a great kit and I would recommend it to anyone wanting an intermediate build. But I also feel Bandai can make it greater. So in this hobby head video, let's talk about what if Bandai made a 3.0 or a Verka of this kit. This video is a bit of a wish list for me. So bear in mind, there's no 3.0 or Verka Zeta at this time. You have been worn, but maybe in the future. So to start off, the 2.0 UC line are all about anime accuracy. The proportions for the Zeta is anime accurate. You know, like when they did the remaster movies with some reanimation. Yeah, like that. Flew out of that movie. Not a chunky looking Gundam. Slim, long legs, tall, and when transformed, it does look aerodynamic. Alright, it's not 100% anime accurate. There are a few tiny tweaks like the wing tips are all red, not no black, you know, like this. But for us who wants an anime accurate Zeta, we have our answer. So a 3.0 Zeta should be a stylized version. So first off, let's begin by talking about the box art as they are what catches our attention i'm guessing it will look something like the hyakushiki 2.0 box art you know art wise the 2.0 has a sort of matte doll color to the gundam so more saturation so more gloss too lighting all around to reflect off the gundam to catch our eyes and more shadows too make it look more dynamic yeah that would be my guess for what the box art would look like now let's talk about the materials the 2.0 uses quite a bit of abs for the inner frame whereas the 3.0 would be using polystyrene like many modern master grade and perhaps no poly caps would be the approach Apart from that, I would like to see more inner frame peeking through. Perhaps some panel lines will be actual cavity. And I would also like to see all the yellow parts around the Gundam. Like these little tick marks here. Not be stickers. Right now, half of them are stickers on the 2.0. This is a sticker. This is not. This here is a sticker. This is not. I think they can make this sticker part a hold. And the yellow piece here just attached by fitting this hole like a male female peg. Also, all the yellow parts that are vents, it would be great if they were parts like a black part, you know, or gray. Something like the leg here, this is a part, and then the yellow around it to frame it. So that way it doesn't look so faux. For me, I have to paint mine. It should also retain all the previous gimmicks like the grenade launcher. And this part of the hand should be white. The one complaint many talk about is the balance, about how it can't stand. Not true, it can stand. You have to find that sweet spot. Anyway, I'm sure they can deal with that problem by making the spur on the feet flexible and a little longer. Borrowing this idea from the double Zeta Verka. Also, because this kit's anime accurate, it's a little plain on the panel lining. So more panel lines, but not too crazy that it's dizzying, you know, or looking like the bootleg one. No, just a little bit more panel line would be great. Next, let's talk about the cockpit. 
it's fine when it's in wave rider but when it's in ms mode it looks awkward so i have two ideas one don't give him legs like those core fighters and just give it that rotating gimmick or be able to push the cockpit back like in this diagram because the inside of the chest is actually hollow another thing about this kit is the articulation is actually good yeah nothing on the waist but it can do a kneeling pose but there is something about it which gives you this impression that it's not very articulate and stiff i don't know what it is perhaps polystyrene for the inner frame will fix that problem we'll have to see now let's get down to the accessories let's talk about the hyper mega launcher it needs to be light like this and would be great to be able to attach it to the gundam like the verka signature robot damashi so he can have all his armaments on him and also the hyper mega launcher needs landing gears on it for in wave rider mode the other accessory would be the launch pad which would be nice if they made the part where the feet stand actually a part of the launch pad and not just sit on it look at this see that it fits it doesn't hang if you turn it upside down it falls off and the stand would be cool if they made this part right here transparent because when tucked away it's black anyway and transparent will make anything almost look like it's actually floating enjoying this video and wish to support me install tubebuddy with my affiliate link below it's a free browser extension that helps you if you're a content creator just by installing the free browser extension will support this channel in a big way and if you did install thank you very much now let's address the biggest gimmick and controversy with the zeta 2.0 the transformation gimmick i think there can be some revision done to make it easier some stuff can be done to make it easier to follow like not just where to move the parts but also where to move the surrounding parts so that it won't be in the way like here move the leg here I can't just move the leg there. There's another leg there. Maybe they made the transformation hard so as to coerce us into buying two kits. Huh? And when in wave rider mode, make the wing tips like the anime. Also the thruster bells. Don't just make it red. Make the thingy gray and place the red piece inside. You know, something like the Alex 2.0 thrusters. And this time, give us a standing figure of Camille Bidan, giving us a thumbs up. It may look like a generic pilot figure, but we know it's Camille, because no other pilot gives us a thumbs up, right? Finally, I'm thinking an extra gimmick to give us is an open hatch gimmick. For the legs, it does not have to be everywhere on the Gundam, but it would be great for this part right here to be exposed. Because look at that detail especially when in maintenance mode that would be awesome right guys so that would be what i would like a 3.0 zeta to be now let's take it up a notch into verka territory one i think the box art will look like the wing zero verka not in portrait mode sideways with a finish kit on one side and the wave rider here it should have all the before mentioned stuff and fins on the collar. I did a little sketch here. What? Looks good? Oh, why, thank you. Hit that like button if you like that picture. If you don't like the picture, hit the like button anyway. Maybe the fins will sink down when it transform into Wave Rider. Wow, that's that would be cool. Apart from that, I'm thinking of silver sprayed parts like the double zeta verka and i would imagine all the exposed thruster vents will be those silver sprayed parts also the waste cable here the knee pit the vulcan and the cable on the guns oh and and on the piston too would be silver sprayed parts apart from that that verka touch whatever it is that made the double zeta verka great you know that verka je ne sais quoi that makes verka kits never mind 
finally, they would also include water slide decals. But let's say he takes it up another notch into MGEX Verka. Ooh. My guess is a little something for light piping to make the eyes and camera glow. And perhaps the tail stabilizer can glow blue too. I guess that lighting unit can be stored in the tail stabilizer. And perhaps like the 1.0 Master Grade, some lighting in the wings too. Maybe green on one side and red on the other, like an actual aircraft. And for more glow, I think there should be some LED gimmick added to the launch pad. That's my idea and dream for a MGEX Verka Zeta. What do you guys think? And what are your thoughts on this new video I made? Any suggestions for me to improve it? Please feel free to mention in the comments below. I have more videos like this coming up. I actually thought of this video way before they did the Alex 2.0 and was going to make a video for an Alex 2.0, but Bandai released one not too long after. Next, what if hobby head video would be for an Axia 2.0. As it stands, Bandai made the Zeta 2.0 a great kit. And if they want people to be interested in it, they could just reprint more. However, there has been not much love for the Zeta recently. There was the robot Tamashi, but you know, we want something in model kit form. And I guess a 3.0 or a Verka will rekindle a new interest for the Zeta Gundam. Well guys, thank you for watching. Please give this video a like. Drop a comment below on your thoughts to help this channel. To help me even further, you can check out my coffee page. Hit that subscribe and notification bell if you haven't to catch that next what if video. And guys, keep things awesome. Keep the hobby going and keep the hobbyist alive. I am Toyama23, signing out.